What's up, my name is Technobe here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix a simple but annoying issue. If I try and fire up Minecraft, for example, I get an error that looks like this. Gaming service is not running, please try and start the service manually, blah 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 blah. A whole bunch of information that's not necessarily the most useful. How exactly do we fix this? Well, there's a couple of fixes, and I'll be running through all of them here, starting with the most likely solution. Simply hit start and type in services, where we'll be opening services. You can also type services.msc if you don't see this. Open it up, and inside of here, we'll be clicking anywhere on this list, and then type gaming. You should then see one or two gaming results for gaming services. Right-click anyone that's running and choose restart. You can see the status over here of the first one is running. Then if anything's not running, it's blank as such for gaming services, right click and choose start. Then when both of these are running or both of these have been restarted, try opening up the same game once more. If you see an error like this, don't worry, we'll be getting to that in just a moment. If you're not able to start one of these as it's set to startup type disabled, right click properties and choose startup type automatic or automatic delayed start, then click OK, and you can close out of this. I don't think I was able to edit those as I didn't run this as admin. Anyways, let's assume that didn't work. What's next? Well, hit start and type in PowerShell, where we'll be opening the Windows PowerShell as administrator. So right click and run as admin. Inside of here, if you're on Windows 10, the background should be blue. On Windows 11, it could be any color. We'll be typing in a couple of commands which you'll find in the description down below. What we're going to do is actually remove gaming services from our computer and then reinstall them. So the first one we'll paste in with right click or control V and then hit enter to remove all of the gaming services packages from our computer. When it's done you'll find two more commands which will copy one at a time and hit enter for each one. If you see an error like this, then don't worry, these probably don't exist on your computer for some reason or another. All these commands are doing are removing a couple of entries from your registry. Now, all we need to do is simply restart our computer and try and open up the same problematic game once more. It should then prompt us to reinstall this and we can do so. Otherwise, there'll be a command in the description down below, which we'll paste in here in just a moment. And there we go. After a quick restart, I'll try and open up Minecraft once more. And as you can see, it's opened up the Windows Store instead. On the Gaming Services tab, I'll simply click Get, and it'll start downloading the gaming services. If this doesn't pop up for you, however, in the description down below, you'll find a command that you can simply copy. Hold Start and press R to bring up the Run dialog, and paste it into here. MS Windows Storm, etc. Hit OK and the Microsoft Store should open up to the Gaming Services tab immediately, allowing you to actually download it. Super simple. When the Gaming Services program has been downloaded, try and open up Minecraft or whatever other game you're trying to play, and this time it should hopefully work properly. There we go. You can see things have opened up properly. I seem to be having a different kind of issue in Windows 11 down here, but that's unrelated. <laughs> Anyways, the game's now working properly as you'd expect, and of course, this could be Halo, Minecraft, or anything else like that, especially to do with the Xbox gaming app on Windows. If you're still experiencing issues, something else you can try is maybe you tried to do something previously that caused this issue to happen, such as HD texture packs or any other kinds of modding, etc. If you've recently done something that causes this issue for a specific game, simply try and undo those actions, and obviously things should go back to the way they were before. Super simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Techno here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.